Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Scorpion, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It is the second week of July, and it is the Energy Vibration uh, for Water. Water is the Zodiac Energy, and uh, this is positive. Let's see what is coming out for the, the, the Scorpions. The Scorpions, um, we have the Energy of the World for the Scorpions wonderful energy the conflict is now over for you scorpions so an ending coming to whatever conflicts um the leaf that come and and nor a situation seven of ones you need um the energy of the seven of ones is saying um stand your ground but you're not standing your ground with a relationship you're not standing your ground with a relationship okay so be careful you scorpions out there okay it's um it's a wonderful starting the week with the energy of the world it's a wonderful energy um we have um a situation has ended with um some negative people and negative situation it has ended and they're still trying to um come at you but they can't come at you because um it's as if you are protected so some of you scorpions um maybe your parents is a taurus or, or capricorn and it's a capricorn energy and it's as if they're trying to come at you but this person is there protecting you yes 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 as um yes um, it's as if whatever the situation was or is the energy of the devil. So, um, you know, your enemies or people of lower energies that was carrying um, or you were in contact with them. It is now ended. You have the ten of ones and you have the world. So that situation is ended and you are happily coming out of this. There is a situation that you have to be careful with someone who is an Aquarius that is over the age of 40 and this person is a um this person is a um Aquarian Gemini or Libra be careful of this person if some of you are in a relationship with someone who is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra over the age of 40 be careful of this person okay whoever this person is not a very nice person and it's as if they are influencing your relationship um, the outcomes is the princess of cups the outcomes is a princess of cups so we are going to be seeing with this outcomes of the princess of cups you ladies who are connected with someone who is an aquarian a gemini or a libra be careful of this relationship it's not a really positive relationship be careful of this relationship so you ladies between the ages of 22 and 45 if you're in a relationship with a man that is over the age of 40 and is a pisces cancer is um, no, and is an Aquarius Gemini. Be care be careful about this relationship because this person is not vibrating in a positive energy. Okay, let's see what has ended with energy of the world and your enemies and the burdens is over, especially for you ladies and for the people. Now your financial ab abundance is going to be flowing. So, you ladies and people between the ages of 22 and 40 whatever negative situation whatever negative people that you had to deal with and that sort of a thing it is now coming to an end your materialistic world is going to be now in balance i'm seeing some of you young men that was connected with um some people who were um sucking you dry of your financial um um, situation is now coming to an end let's see what is the end of the devil and the lovers the end of the devil to a lovers oh yeah oh my this is positive this is positive but um some of you be careful um there could be a situation where your relationship is ending so the people between the age of 22 and 40 um your relationship could be ending you were in a negative relationship and this is now coming to an end and uh, um bring this to an end because it's not it wasn't an healthy relationship okay you ladies there could be a situation with your father and you could find out that your father is going to be passing um away 
your father could be sick for a time or uh, suddenly your father your father is going to be passing away so um, the energy is here um, let's see what else is coming out the energy of the lovers this is the second time a reading is coming up with both of these cards so obviously there is a love situation so for the people who is connected with an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra man over the age of 40, um, this relationship is coming to an end. Whether it's a business relationship or whether it's a personal relationship, it is coming to an end, okay? Um, this person was very negative, um, has negative influence over them and it is also coming to an end um whoever you were that was um playing the devil's advocate it's now coming to an end okay um for some of you who oh, your financial situation was depleted now <clears throat> there is going to be positive um situation coming up let's see what is happening some of you be careful um it could be your father if um your father is uh, um, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, your father could be passing away also. And if your father is an uh, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, your father could be passing away. Okay? Um, some of you could be dealing with... Um, um, if you're between, between the age of 15 and older, um, there could be a situation that there were um, negative energies, negative situation, um, hateful situation coming from um, your father to your mom. And this is going to be ending. Okay, so your father could be very negative um, against your mom. And this situation is going to be ending. Okay. So if your mother was a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, because she's, she's turning up in this reading. If your mother was a Capricorn, whoever you are, and your mom was a Capricorn, whatever you have done against your mother or whatever your father have been, done against your mother, this is coming to an end. This week is a week where these things are going to be coming to an end. So whatever negative energies whatever you have done whatever you, your father has done to your mom it's coming to an end okay an ending is coming there's going to be some sadness and sorrow for um um yeah yeah obviously it's a debt because um obviously it's a debt and if you realize how this is a line is that you can see um you can see that it's between the king of pentacles who is a, a, a taurus virgo or a capricorn and between the king of swords who is in who is an aquarius gemini or libra so obviously if you, your father is a capricorn or a a capricorn or a um Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, or if your father is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, whatever is happening, um, there is a debt because there's sadness, the Three of Swords, there's a heartbreak, there's an ending, okay, and a new beginning for the Prince of Cups. So, the young people between the ages of 25 and 45, there is a new beginning. It, it doesn't have to be 25 and 45. There is going to be a new beginning for you, okay? Um, the ladies, um, it, whoever you are that is having a relationship with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, that relationship is going to be ending, okay? That relationship is going to be ending, um, there's a lot of endings that is coming in endings whatever negative energies that you people have been dealing with and going through are connected with it's coming to an end okay um, I'm seeing here the energy of um, and we're going to be asking what is this 
energy of this Prince of Cups because this is the, the, the male aspect of the ladies that is up there. And what I'm seeing is that if your father is a Taurus, Taurus, um, Virgo or Capricorn, there is an ending that is coming to that relationship. Um, an ending that is coming to that relationship, okay? There is an ending that is coming to that relationship, okay? Whatever that relationship was all about, whatever that was happening, there's an ending. Your father could be passing away. Or you could be ending that relationship with your father because your father could be passing away. Okay? Um, sorry for the name. Um, yeah, it's not really negative news. It's that, um, you know, the spirit guides for people. And I guess it's true because <laughs> um, you heard three pops. The spirit guides for people. Um, uh, when they're crossing over, always tend to seems to connect with me. And at the beginning of the reading, I was because <clears throat> I was smelling something. There was a smell that was coming up. And, uh, you know, it can be the spirit guy, guy the spirits, because if your father is sick or if your parents are sick, and they're about to cross over. They always um, connect with me in because I'm having the chills. So obviously, um, there is something that is going on that a lot of people are going to realize that their parents are going to be crossing over in this week. Um, whoever you are out there that was going through a negative conflict in things with people um, of the uh, Aquarians or Gemini or Libra, this is going to be ending. Um, for the people who have been having these negative influence in their lives with a relationship, unhealthy relationship, um, it's going to be ending. If you ladies are out there was having a relationship with um, um, an Aquarius, a Gemini or Libra, this is going to be ending because I'm seeing that this love relationship, it can be relationship and friendship or whatsoever, but if you were having relationships with these air sign people, they are going to be ending. Let's see what is the outcomes for the scorpion with your let go of guilt. Let go of guilt. Or if you're having guilt about relationship and situations in your life, you need to let go of this guilt. Okay. You have no need to have this guilt. You need to let go of this guilt. When you allow your light to shine um, brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you have done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow um, from this mistake instead of uh, um, beating up yourself about them. And this is a positive energy because what this is saying is that instead of you beating up yourself that your parents passed away or whatever or whoever is about to leave this um this 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 um face of the hurt and you are you know basically beating up yourself about it you can't do anything about it is that the person time has come and this is um the time some of you um young men are going to be saddened by the end of a relationship saddened by the end of a situation um but um the energy of the devil is in the reverse so there is a transition of you working with people of negative energy there is a transition that is coming in a end is coming in to all the sorrows that you have gone through in your life and this is in a positive way so ladies and gentlemen i'm wishing you a wonderful week please remember to listen to your sun moon and rising sign um, thanks for coming. Thumbs up. Welcome all newcomers. I hope you will return. Namaste until next time.